a death spiral for public transportation. That is how SEPTA officials describe the newly proposed fare hikes and cuts to service, which would greatly and negatively impact tens of thousands of riders. At the same time, the union representing most SEPTA employees is asking for pay raises and threatening a strike. Good Tuesday afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Siafa Lewis and I'm Natasha Brown. SEPTA's proposal calls for historic fare increases. It will impact all modes of SEPTA transportation as well as all methods of payment and riders will be paying more while SEPTA will be making major cuts to service. Now here's how it's going to hit your wallet. If this is ultimately approved, depending on how you pay, base fares are now between $2 and $2.50, but in December, all base fares would be $2.50, and then in January, the base fare would go up to $2.90. Let's get out now to CBS News Philadelphia's Dan Snyder. He's at SEPTA headquarters in Center City, Philadelphia, with more on today's announcement. Also, how riders are responding to all of this, Dan. Well, Natasha, a SEPTA official said today that they didn't want to have to do this and that they held off as long as they could. But facing a major budget shortfall and with funding yet to come from Harrisburg, they say this was a move that they just had to make. Today, we stand with our feet on the edge of the fiscal cliff. SEPTA leaders announcing what they called historically high rate increases on Tuesday. By the start of next year, the transit agency will increase fares by 29% across the board. On top of that, the authority is proposing 20% cuts to service. Dozens of routes will be eliminated, and those that remain would operate with significantly less frequency. While the fare hikes will not affect seniors who ride for free, SEPTA officials warned these changes could have a deeper impact, leading to what they call a death spiral for public transportation. Service cuts and fare increases resulting from fewer riders lead to more service cuts and more fare increases resulting in fewer riders. So ultimately public transit is no longer relevant. The fare hikes and service cuts stem from a $240 million budget shortfall. Governor Josh Shapiro proposed funding in the state budget, but it was left out with a promise lawmakers would discuss it further in the fall. But SEPTA leaders say those talks haven't gone anywhere. There's no more messages to be delivered. This is the result of not having a long-term funding solution. In a statement, a spokesperson for Governor Shapiro said, quote, the governor believes it's past time for the Senate to send this funding to his desk to support mass transit all across the Commonwealth. But until something happens in Harrisburg, riders we spoke with say they'll face the brunt. Well, that would be terrible because I, I catch the bus just about every day for work, work five days a week, and just adding that up over time, that's really going to you know, have to cut back on other things such as groceries. If they cut some services, how are people going to get to work? Yeah. How are people going to live and survive? Whenever you're going to cut back, you're going to have impacts. There's no doubt about it. SEPTA officials tell me they remain hopeful that some sort of funding will be worked out in Harrisburg. On those service cuts, SEPTA hopes to release a definitive plan by early next year. And the authority says it plans to hold uh, a public hearing on those proposed service hikes in December. Dan Snyder, CBS News, Philadelphia.